What makes me the most proud is just the name that CNA has in, in Omaha. So, you know, at a social function or whatever, well, what do you do, where do, where do you work? Uh, oh, I work for CNA Industries. Everybody's always like, oh, wow, they're, you know, a top employer in the city. So it's always fun to be able to say I work there. When I started, we were a fairly small to medium-sized company, and now we're one of the largest in Omaha. So and I think we've really adapted to that by management. Um, really, I can rely on my manager at any time. It's an open door policy, which is nice. And then, and just I think the team that we have really built, just to rely on each other. Um, I can always ask my colleague, Seth or Nate or Lisa a question. I can go to my manager. I just think that open communication has really helped. I think it all starts with leadership. I know as far as the division that I work for, um, it 100% starts with our leadership. So um, Alan sets a really great example of what he expects for us. And not only that, I mean, we are more than just a team, we are a family. Um, we know that we can all rely on one another. We're making an impact with people's lives every day, whether it's helping patients in the facilities or helping our employees actually get jobs so they can support their family. It's um, pretty, thorough and how we get people jobs and how we you know we always do genuinely put patient safety first so which is obviously a good thing so I'm pretty proud of that as well you know we don't just throw people around so as to make money and make placements we do things properly and by the book so that that really does make me pretty proud I'm proud of the work we do I'm proud of the fact that our company allows other companies to be the best they can be by giving them the resources they need I think most people are also pretty apt at going and approaching their managers, kind of those weekly one-on-ones, those situations where you can pull someone out of their normal environment and have an honest conversation. Um, and that's really the most effective way. I think we have a great atmosphere of inviting people to have those conversations weekly, monthly, quarterly, um, and that's when you solve most issues. It's been nothing but positive. Um, I think it's, you know, meeting every month for our huddles is, is, pretty, is really fun. I think it's a great idea. You know, having different different day, different day, you know, times you can take five for, for different breaks and that type of thing and meeting, just meeting as a branch on, on every Friday or Wednesday or whatever it is, just, just to talk about the weekend and that type of thing. And I think that helps culture and helps attitudes. I would say what makes me most proud is the fact that there's such an emphasis on work-life balance. Um, you know, I'm proud that I can come in and get my work done and then leave at the end of the night and not have to take it home with me. I personally came from a job that it was very, you were on your own and independent and I hated it. And it's, you know, I, I love the, the team environment here and how you're so willing to help others and people are willing to help you and that's, you are just one big team and I think that's great. Um, I would say, especially around the holiday seasons, when it comes to doing a lot of the uh, service work that we decide to do, it's not one of those where it's like, hey, we you know, ask of you to go out there. Uh, you know, everybody wants to do it and they choose to do it. And uh, I know we've done a couple of different things and each year, you know, seeing something different and doing something new for, you know, people that are less fortunate is, is really awesome. So it, you know, I think opens people's eyes into more of, you know, what our culture is and how, you know, we're not just here to, you know, make money and run a business, but we're here to help people. I think it's just the, the aura, I guess, the, the, the culture, I guess, of the environment. I mean, people, people who work here are, are typically happy people. I mean, you don't, you don't meet a lot of angry or it, it just affects your, your entire life. So I, I think that's huge. You know, I think that they're positive, you know, having a positive atmosphere, you know, having positive people to work with um, that all get it and understand that is really important. Um, going to work every day, having a smile on your face, I mean, really helps you, you know, when you walk in at 8 o'clock, you have smiling people around, really helps your attitude throughout the day, and um, that, that's, you know, that's helped me for sure. This is me speaking completely, like, from the heart. I have never worked for a company like this before. I feel so blessed and honored to work for this company. I can't come up with something. There are so many times that I'll go up to Alan's desk and I'll just sit there and I'll be like, Alan. He's like, what? 
I'm like, should I pinch myself? And he's like, stop it, go back to work. Because it truly is like such a blessing. This is what I love to do. I have the resources and the outlet and all of these different tools for me to do what I am talented at. And I really, I wish I could say that there's something that needs to be improved, but I, I don't feel like there is.